A blessed morning, one and all. This is your apostle, Elijah Peter Chambers, once more with a pounded word. Hallelujah! A harsh one, and also an intriguing one. And our topic this morning, my story, put behind bars for speaking, thus say the Lord. And our theme, born, hallelujah, to win, always winning on a regular basis, regardless of the oppositions, the opposers, the religious ones, the hypocrites, winning at all costs. But I like to expo expose something here. Praise God. It was a vision I got last in, in 2020, 2020, the last month. I think it's in December. Two weeks before December came to an end. I was seeking the Lord while everyone was celebrating Christmas. And the Lord gave me a vision. And I woke out of this vision troubled. And in this vision, I saw all the nation, the old nation, the, old, the Jamaica people, they rose up against the, the leader, the prime minister. The people want, they said in the vision, they don't want him anymore. And they cannot tolerate any more of his, his dictatorship, his rulership, the corruption. And a lot of things were exposed in that vision. And listen, I want some people to understand that, listen, you may think this will be political. It won't be political. So I'm sorry for the political fanatics. This is, this is what is going to happen. The people are going to rise up against him. I don't know. The, the vision did, did not disclose to me why the people of Jamaica was upset with the leader. And our scripture text this morning is Proverbs 16, 7. When a man ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Hallelujah. When a man ways please the Lord, it doesn't matter. Hallelujah. Those who have not found you pleasing in their sight. The conclusion of the matter. Does God seize you or find you pleasing in the sight of God? And for three years now, I've been preaching the undiluted gospel. Hallelujah. And many are upset. Money, many have resisted, belched back at the truth. But the Bible said you shall hear the truth and the truth shall set you free. Glory be to God. Proverbs 16, 6 says, By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Rejoice not about iniquity, but rejoice about truth. As the swagger with the Prime Minister of Jamaica created an allegation because his objectives were to kill Pastor Peter Chambers as he and his evil cabinet representatives, hallelujah, desire to kill Kevin Simmons because he knew much about their underground secrets. My God Almighty, the allegations of the allegation of death of the threat was created specifically to destroy God's servant. Even the, the dunce in the land reasoned their motive. Hallelujah! That it was to kill. Created that Pastor Peter sent him a death threat. So their plot was to, hallelujah, was to rid him out of this world. Hallelujah. In the back of the minds of his supporters and the political church that he threatened the prime minister. The lawyers ruled out the allegation that it was not a threat. Hallelujah. I know some of you going upset because all of you have been dragging me saying that I threatened you, bro, God. But the conclusion, hallelujah, of the professional lawyers, hallelujah, the, the privy counsel and the inspector, hallelujah, of CTAC, ruled it out that this was not a threat. My God, you're not supposed to have a heart attack. One sinner said to me, 
those fawns and political so-called so Christians are the evil ones in the church pretending they know God. Pastor, if you spoke against evil and they were upset, this means that they are a part of the evil. Hallelujah. One woman declared, Pastor, I never speak against the church. But the churches in Jamaica are a part of the evil and they can't speak because they took the money from the government. My God, one declared pastor, everyone, every one of them on and off social media that opposes what you, have, what you are doing are the ones that took the blood money and the cobra, venom, even Christians, many of them, did not trust God and they took the, 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 the cobra venom and they took the money in 2020 when the money was issued out to so many in their accounts and people were fighting and scrolling and, and pushing each other in, in long lines for the blood money everybody remember that many Christians many apostolics many Pentecostals many New Testament Church of God Church of God of Prophecy Baptist Seventh-day Adventists they took the money and this is the root cause why many of them are upset when this man of God speaks hallelujah I was shocked when it was disclosed that many of the pastors and bishops religious leaders got money from the government to keep them silent the woman declared pastor peter chambers you are a pure voice hallelujah in this land and i know you did not partook hallelujah of the blood money glory be to god the lord asked me to ask all the pastors and bishops prophets and ministers and prophetess and so-called hypocrites did you took the money or the cobra venom ask yourself that question answer that that, that 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 question for yourself this means you will oppose my servant says god you are controlled by the covid the covid 19 demon even in 2023 persons and individuals are still giving me an apology many of you will find me to give me an apology and the proud lofty and arrogant ones will sit in their arrogance Ruba Baba Satada Baba and die in destruction and burn in Hades and the, the lake of fire because of their sins and their pride. Pastor Peter, when I saw the news spoke about their so called detriment to the Prime Minister, I jumped on the bandwagon like many without researching, and the Lord rebuked me sharply. This was a woman talking to me. The Lord Jesus Christ rebuke her sharply for jumping on the bandwagon. The Bible said rejoice not about iniquity, but rejoice about truth. Some of you, you're just looking something to tear down the men and the women of God. You're just looking for something specifically to take them down because of your jealousy, because of your evil, your bad mind. Because my God Almighty, Uri Baba Sata, of the devil that buried in your belly. My God Almighty. One person declared those who are agree with the evil and try to destroy you, they themselves will fall into the great problem because they chose not to discern good from evil. It is sad that Jamaica is going down on a daily basis and the evil ones cannot see the evil and see that Jamaica is in trouble. Most will see the truth when it is too late when Jamaica becomes like like Haiti, my God Almighty, Jamaican's root problem from the head. The root problem is from the head. The clergyman, the prime minister, the cabinet, the representative in the present cabinet, the politicians, the businessmen, those people who are influential in this country, they are the ones who should be found guilty and accountable but destroying this land. If the head is sick, the body will be automatically sick. My God. The scripture 
in the book of Chronicles say that if my people that are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and will heal their land. The so-called churches in Jamaica and the clergymen and women need to repent and turn from their wicked ways. The more the country plunge into murder, death, accident, rape, extortion, drugs, etc. They say nothing is wrong with Jamaica. Jamaica is declared the capital for murder, drugs, guns, human trafficking and corruption. Look at what happened down into Anova of the gold fine. The greedy government prime minister immediately went down there and declared that territory is legal for the state. But these people in Anova are fools. You said you found gold on a private property, property owned by someone. So how does it become the property of the state? My God, why didn't you leave the, the so-called gold mine to the poor? My God, you all want my God Almighty to possess this whole world. Look at what happened to you, St. Bull. They robbed him of millions of dollars. But look what happened. The politicians are thieves.